Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to LBKM 55th Annual Bursary Presentation Ceremony. I am Nuha Amani. And I am Ahmad Hilmi. And, and we, we will, will be your MCs for today's virtual ceremony. Thank you very much for making time to be present. It's a midweek evening and we hope you're having a great week thus far. Today of course holds a special reason for all of us to be here. As we can all see, this year's bursary presentation ceremony looks a little bit different. The presentation ceremony has now transformed online, where our donors and recipients can enjoy it from the comfort of their homes. Not only has it become virtual, it will also be an engaging and interactive one. Nevertheless, this virtual format will just be a temporary departure from the norm. As we enjoy the ceremony from the safe spaces of our homes, let's continue hoping that the world will be in a better and healthier state for all of us soon, insha'Allah. <laughs> Lembaga Biasiswa Kenangan Maulud is a bursary and scholarship institution that is financially supported by donations and sponsorships from the public. LBKM has indeed come a long way, 55 years to be exact. Just at this ceremony alone, LBKM is giving out more than 570 bursaries to students studying across the Ukhrawi and secular stream. This is definitely made possible with the support of generous donors and sponsors as well as the community at large who are concerned about our students' education in Singapore. That is very impressive indeed. In fact, I myself am a bursary recipient of LBKM and Alhamdulillah, it has definitely propelled my journey towards achieving my aspiration. So help me, a little while ago you mentioned that this ceremony will be engaging and interactive, right? Mm -hmm. Although it's online. Could you enlighten us on how that will be possible? Oh yes, definitely, Noha. We would definitely like to get some virtual interactions up and running within the virtual attendees of this ceremony. So, here's how it's all gonna work. To all the recipients of LBK bursaries today, kindly proceed to the right side of the website to pen down your thank you messages or notes of thank you to members of the community who has contributed to your pursuit of knowledge journey. Each recipient is expected to write at least one thank you message as it will be marked as a form of your attendance in this virtual ceremony. You may post them up on the board at any time throughout this virtual ceremony. Donors, on the other hand, who are also virtually present here with us today, are also encouraged to post up congratulatory remarks on the site. May your words of encouragement be the drive and a source of motivation for our recipients today to excel further in their studies. The support from individuals and companies from the public and private sectors are the key pillar for LBKM to continue empowering the students in pursuing their goals and dreams. Without further ado, Let's sit back and welcome the President of LBKM, Mr. Suhaimi Saleh, to deliver his speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wa rumun salin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. 
Rabbi israhli sadri wa yasirli amri wa hlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Members of LBKM, Executive Council and Board of Trustees, distinguished guests, parents, students, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening to all of you. Today, we mark LBKM 55th Annual Bursary Presentation and unlike past presentation ceremonies, this year will be remembered as a very unique year because for the first time, we are holding this much-anticipated end-of-the-year event in the current new normal way. The last bursary presentation was held on 23rd November last year at the Singapore University of Technology and Design, or SUTD. No one would have expected back then that in a few months, COVID-19 will dramatically change the world and the way we live. We are fortunate that in Singapore, we only peak at the start of the pandemic and that after the two-month circuit breaker, we have been able to control the spread and try as much as possible to carry on with life under phase two restrictions. After a challenging 10 months, the announcement that we will enter phase three this Monday is definitely welcoming. But let us be mindful that the need to stay safe will continue. In that context, to say that LBKM is not at all affected is inaccurate. We went through an unprecedented period and without a certain end in sight. We therefore made strategic changes to ensure that LBKM will be able to still function effectively and maintain its goals with minimal impact. On that note, I am thankful that the Council and the staff of LBKM have been able to be innovative in their thinking and to use the current norm to step up our digital transformation. As a result, we have embarked on several new initiatives to accelerate our digitalization upgrading. That include the way we raise funds, especially in ad adopting new and fresh ways so as to ensure that we can still support the dreams of our students. I'm heartened to see that despite the COVID-19 challenges, our donation campaigns were able to still raise the target amount. That can only mean two things, that LBKM continues to enjoy a high level of trust and support from institutions and individuals, and that our staff and volunteers are able to remain spirited throughout. Kudos to all of them. And as a result, we are able to disburse more than 1.1 million to more than 500 university students, both full-time and part-time, at this ceremony. If we were to include all other bursaries that we have given this year, we have disbursed almost 1.5 million to about 1,400 students. This year, LBKM is also seeing a more diverse discipline from the applications received, and we are pleased to support these new fields as it will enable our students to enter industries that we are underrepresented in. One such recipient is 31-year-old Roslinda Binti Muhammad, who is pursuing her part-time Master of IP and Innovation Management at Singapore University of Social Sciences, or SUS. The other recipient is 25-year-old Siti Nur Amalina Muhammad No who is doing her postgraduate studies in cancer research and precision oncology at the University of Glasgow in Scotland. We will continue to welcome and support students seeking inroads into new areas so as to ensure that over time we can develop wide-ranging professionals within our com community, especially in future economy-friendly disciplines. As an organization serving a critical need of the community through education, LBKM strength and opportunities depend on the continuous support of institutions and the public. We have seen a very encouraging trend in recent times of self-initiated donation drive undertaken by independent groups of volunteers as well as from non-Muslims. We remain thankful to the trust and support given, which in turn enable LBKM to increase the number of recipients and categories over the years. On this note, let me put on record our gratitude to all donors, sponsors and supporters who have made LBKM to be what it, is, what it is today. On our part, we'll continue to raise our administrative, outreach and service standards. 
As an IPC or an institution of a public character, we are committed to keep our management and processes high on the governance and integrity score and to ensure that our positioning remains relevant in a fast-changing environment. Moving forward, we look to 2021 as a better year. Internally, we'll be introducing more initiatives with the aim of building a strong volunteer pool among our former recipients, as well as welcoming new talents to strengthen the ranks for leadership grooming and succession. And to our bursary recipients today, may this day be remembered as a day the community honor your pursuit of excellence. And for the donors, may your generosity continue so that we can ensure a more promising future through the investment we make on our youngs. May I also take this opportunity to wish everyone well as we end the calendar year and usher in 2021. Thank you for being with us and let's look forward to the day where we can organize this ceremony as we have done it in the past. There is, after all, uh, no substitute to an event where we can actually meet and greet each other. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitate you in all your affairs and grant you and your family success in this life and the next. Stay safe and stay blessed. Thank you. Wa bilahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Encik Suhaimi, for that very enlightening speech. That's right, Helmi. I couldn't help but to feel inspired by how far the educational potential our students could explore. That's true, Nuha. It really seems like the knowledge pathways these days are expanding and it's heartwarming to see our students embarking on new opportunities. Speaking of which, Nuha, <laughs> as a past recipient of the LBK bursaries, could you perhaps share with us a thing or two on how your educational journey has been? Yes, it's my turn to speak now. So Alhamdulillah, as I mentioned just now, I myself was an award recipient from LBKM. So I began my journey in primary school all the way until secondary school in a madrasa, after which I joined the art stream in a junior college, and Alhamdulillah, I was able to pursue my passion in English literature in the National University of Singapore. So throughout all these phases of my education, LBKM has been a huge source of support for me and my educational aspirations. Through the support and assistance that LBKM has given me, I was able to acquire educational resources as well as so many learning opportunities for myself. Actually, Helmi, just attending LBKM award ceremonies itself is so inspiring because you can hear so many stories from so many students from all walks of life. Yes, that's a very inspirational journey, Noha. And I hope and I believe that the students and recipients of today's LBK bursaries will be motivated and inspired to achieve more. So, actually, I have spoken. Now, I'm sure you have also been involved in several community engagements and volunteering activities. So now I believe it's our turn to hear your stories and experiences. Yes, Nuha. Of course, aside from having uh, served in the student body back in Cairo during my schooling days, Ooh. upon graduation, I have been able to engage with the Malay Muslim community, which has become my passion, especially the youth and the underserved. Oh, wow. So through your years in Cairo and then ba being back in Singapore, engaging with the society, have you ever reflected on why is it actually so important to give back to the community? Yes, of course it is very important, Noham. I believe that every student and every individual has their own unique potential and capabilities that, can, that they can contribute back to the community. And we hope that all the students who will be receiving their bursaries today will find their own capabilities and unique talents in order uh, for them to contribute back to the community. That's right. And inshallah, with all our unique talents, we can make the community and society a better place for all of us. All right. So before we come to the end of this session, let's sit back and watch some thank you messages from students who are receiving the bursary award today. Hi, I'm Alisa and I am one of the recipients of LBKM's bursary this year. I am a year two student in the National University of Singapore studying Materials Science and Engineering with a second major in Innovation and Design. I'm currently taking on multiple CCAs revolving around videography and photography and juggling with part-time jobs at the same time. But I would like to remind everyone with this quote, 
tough times don't last, tough people do. So when encountered with difficulties and challenges in life, remember to never give up and instead work harder in order to achieve greater things. I want to thank the organization, sponsors and donors for this award as it will relieve a lot of financial burden acting on me. I am very grateful and appreciative for this award. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dini Sulaiga and I am a student at the University of Queensland. I did a master's program in social work studies. Um, first of all, I would like to thank LBKM and LBKM sponsors and donors for this bursary award. I can't thank you all enough for this generosity. Um, this award will definitely help me in terms of my tuition fees and my expenses here in Queensland. And again, this is just such a wonderful award to receive, especially at this time. Um, I really do hope and pray that you know God will um, repay you for your kindness and your generosity. Again, thank you everybody and I really do appreciate for, for being chosen and selected to be one of the recipients for this bursary awards. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad Ida Ibn Azman. I hope that everyone is having a good day inshallah. I am from IIUM, International Islamic University of Malaysia. I am currently in my year 3 majoring in fake and also fake, which is also known as Islamic Jurisprudence and the Principles or Roots of Islamic Jurisprudence. In this video, I would like to sincerely deliver my gratitude to LBKM, Lembaga Biasiswa Kenangan Maulud, the sponsors of LBKM and the donors of LBKM. Thank you so much for this wonderful, amazing bursary award. I hope that everyone involved will be rewarded with the best of rewards inshallah. And those who are receiving the best rewards will be able to benefit from it the best way possible inshallah. As a person who's receiving the best reward, I would like to thank you so much once again. I personally or we will do our best and work harder to be a better student and to also give back to the community in any way possible. Because the region has taught us that the best of people are those who bring most benefit to the rest of mankind. Um, and once again, thank you so much. Assalamualaikum and bye-bye. Assalamualaikum everyone. Hi there. My name is Amiral Junit. I'm currently studying my Bachelor's of Biomedical Science, majoring in Public Health and Humanities and Medicine at the University of Western Australia. I'm honoured to be one of the recipients for the 2020 LBKM Bursary Award. I would like to thank LBKM, the LBKM sponsors and donors for giving me this award. Indeed, 2020 has been a hectic year for all of us but I am truly thankful for the additional support given by LBKM. Thank you once again, LBKM, for giving me this award. May 2021 be a better year for all of us, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Assalamualaikum. Nama saya Zaid bin Ghazali, pelajar tahun kedua di Universiti Jordan, Fakulti Al-Fiqh wa Usulu. Alhamdulillah. Al-Imam Ibn Uthaymin, rahimahullah, berkata, Apabila seseorang itu menolong seorang penonton ilmu agama dalam membeli kitab-kitabnya atau menyediakan asrama baginya atau menginfak kepadanya atau semisal dengan itu maka dia akan mendapatkan pahala semisal penonton ilmu agama tersebut tanpa pahalanya mengurangi darinya walaupun sedikit Alhamdulillah ribuan terima kasih Ana ucapkan bagi para penyumbang dan para dermawan atas sumbangan ikhlas antum semua dan juga tidak lupa kepada pihak LBKM kerana telah memilih anak antaranya memilih saya antaranya sebagai penerima biasiswa bagi tahun 2020 tidaklah usaha atau bantuan ini dapat dibalas dengan sebaik-baiknya kecuali oleh Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala sebaik-baik pemberi ganjaran semoga Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala meluaskan rezeki anda semua melapangkan segala kesulitan anda semua dan juga memberkati apa yang disumbangkan oleh anda semua dan anda doakan juga semoga Allah memberi ganjaran kepada kamu semua terhadap segala ilmu yang anda, anda raih segala ilmu manfaat yang anda raih dan juga setiap ilmu yang anda amalkan dan juga sibarkan Jazakumullahu khairan Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah with that, we have come to the end of this year's virtual bursary presentation ceremony. 
we would like to thank everyone for watching and being virtually present with us. To all bursary recipients, kindly note that the bursary amount will be credited directly to your bank account from today onwards. On behalf of LBKM, I would like to thank the LBKM Executive Council and Board of Trustee members, bursary recipients, family members and donors for your virtual presence. We hope to see you again in our future events, inshallah. With that, wishing all bursary recipients continued success in your studies. That's, That's it, it from us. us. Take care and, and stay safe, everyone.
Thank you.